How to run Windows apps on Android with Wine. Ever wanted to run Windows software on your Android device? Probably not, but what if you could? What if your Android device could finally act as a Windows desktop replacement? Simply by running Windows software. Recently, the Wine project has released an Android compatible version. Long embraced by Linux users, mostly gamers, requiring a fix of the favorite Windows only software. This option is now available on Android. But does it work as well as expected? And why would you bother anyway? Given the wealth of software available on Android, let's find out. Often mistakenly described as an emulator, Wine, a recursive acronym that stands for Wine is not an emulator, is in fact a compatibility layer. This is a software library that makes Linux. Mac OS and BSD capable of running Windows application. Although some emulation is involved, specifically, the Windows runtime environment, Wine does not emulate an operating system. Over the years, Wine has become increasingly popular as a way to run Windows software on other platforms. While installing a virtual machine is one option, perhaps, say, to run Microsoft Office on Linux. Microsoft Office on Linux is possible. We cover three methods for getting Office working inside of a Linux environment. Wine has been available for ARM devices, such as the Raspberry Pi, for some time. Now Wine has been released for Android. Typically, the ability to install software on your phone or tablet is restricted to any source beyond the Google Play Store by default. Enable this by opening settings greater than security and tapping the switch for unknown sources. Click OK to confirm the action. Several versions are available for ARM processors, most Android devices, and x86 processors, mostly tablets. But only a small number. Identify which architecture your device has before downloading, you can check this by finding the device on Wikipedia. After downloading to your device, or to your PC, before syncing to your favorite cloud drive, it's time to install. Tap the APK file. And agree to installation. Wait as it unpacks. Then approve the installation, you'll be notified that Wine needs access to record audio. And modify, delete, and read the contents of your device's SD card. Micro SD cards are a great way of adding storage to your Android device, but you need to know these tricks. While Wine will run some software on ARM devices, the best results will be found on those x86-based Android devices. Since you're probably on an ARM-based Android device, you'll be limited to apps that have been adapted for use on Windows RT. XDA Developers has produced a list of apps that run on ARM-based Windows devices. So this is a good place to start. Among these apps are useful tools such as Audacity, Notepad++, FileZilla, Paint.net. You'll also find some retro games that have been open-sourced. These include Doom and Quake 2, as well as open-source clone OpenTinted a version of Transport Tycoon. As Wine's popularity on Android and ARM devices increases, however, this list is bound to grow. We understand the Wine project is developing a method of using QEMU to emulate x86 instructions on ARM hardware. So this bodes well for the future. Certain libraries and APIs are required for games to run. Some common APIs are currently missing from Wine on Android. Missing, but likely to appear at some stage. A Direct 3D 12, Vulkan, and full Opengle S support to enable Direct 3D, this is currently limited. Introducing these in Wine for Android will expand the selection of applications that can be used. However, Wine is under constant development. As such, these features can be expected in a future release. Happily, Wine supports Direct 3D 10 and 11, Direct 3D Command Stream, and the Android graphics driver. Meanwhile, we can also enjoy improved DirectRight and Direct2D support. When the software environment launches, you will find a standard Windows 7 style start menu, with Wine logo, and a command line box. At this stage, shortly after Wine 3.0 for Android has been released, there is no support for software keyboards. Although tapping is okay, the size of the desktop might be a problem. However, on the device I tested this on, a Samsung Galaxy S2 tablet. The start button was tiny. To fix this, I switched the orientation to portrait mode and then back to landscape. 
command prompt is a great tool for everyday PC users because it's easy to use, yet powerful. Here are 15 command prompt tricks and tips you may have missed. Windows users can get by without using either the command prompt or PowerShell. But with Windows 10 and new features around the corner, maybe it's about time we learned. Meanwhile, you can tap the start button to find two menus. First is control panel. With sub menus add, remove programs, game controllers, and internet settings. Second is run. Using run, you can open a dialog box to issue commands. For instance, launching Internet Explorer is possible by entering Yexplore. To get something running in Wine, you'll first need to download the application or sync via the cloud to your Android device. Save it in a memorable location. Then navigate to it in the Wine command prompt window. For instance, if I downloaded a Windows executable file X to my Android tablet, I'd save it to the download folder. This can be reached in the command line with CDSD card download to run the file in Wine for Android. Simply input the name of the X file. Some versions of Wine require you to prefix this with the Wine command. But this isn't necessary. If the ARM ready file is compatible, it should run. Otherwise, you'll see a bunch of error messages. At this stage, installing Windows software on Android in Wine isn't an exact science. Having problems. Not all Android devices can run Wine. While it runs on my Galaxy Tab S2, it apparently doesn't work on the Tab S. Similarly, the OnePlus 5T will run Wine, whereas the 2016 Google Pixel will not. Others with issues include the Xiaomi Mi 5 and Huawei Mate 10. Eventually compatibility will increase and a list of supported devices will no doubt be created. Until then, it's really a case of trial and error. Extra functionality and flexibility can be gained on a Chromebook with developer mode. But is it a good idea? Could the negatives outweigh the positives? Is it worth the risk? You'll be able to install Wine on a more suitable machine. Note that there is also a version of crossover for Chrome OS. Although this requires an x86 CPU, in a development that seemed unlikely just five years ago, it is now possible to run Windows software on Android, while you might prefer to remote connect to a Windows PC via Android. Here's a walkthrough on how to use Chrome Remote Desktop to connect to your computer and control it no matter where you are, or even stream games from your PC. This nevertheless offers a rare opportunity to take Windows with you. The possibilities Wine on Android offers are considerable. While currently limited, it's likely that what's possible with Wine on your smartphone or tablet will increase over time. As bugs are ironed out and compatibility improved, want to run Android apps and games on your Windows or Mac computer? Try Knox, which makes it really easy. Here's how to start. Text source, makeuseof.com.